Hello you guys and welcome back to the WrestleDude channel is here today. I am doing something a little bit different. This is our first episode with live cam commentary uh, here on the universe mode as we are kicking off Resurgence. And um, I want to get into tonight's episode by explaining to you guys. I know I did do this on an earlier episode uh, or on an earlier video that went up. Um, we are actually uh, going to be getting rid of Resurgence as a show on the universe mode um, but that won't be until uh, after the next takeover event which will be episode 40 so starting with episode 41 that will only be NXT will migrate the women's division back onto the NXT brand I'm not sure what we're gonna do uh, with some of the titles but uh, starting off here tonight in action we have Ruby Riot taking on Liv Morgan oh and Ruby Riot she's been uh, kind of cinched in with a rivalry against Nikki Cross over the past couple of uh, weeks, which has been very interesting uh, to me, seeing how all this is playing out. And so here tonight, uh, I thought I'd give her a little break from uh, Nikki Cross. I mean, everybody needs a break from crazy sometimes. And she is going to be facing off against fellow uh, Riot Squad member on SmackDown. Uh, she's going to be facing off against Liv Morgan who is actually part of a team known as uh, Live by the Storm, uh, alongside Tony Storm. They challenged for the tag team titles just recently, uh, but to no avail. Um, oh man, Ruby Riot with a nice super kick. It rolls her up into a crucifix, this may be it. One, and a kick out. Oh, and Liv Morgan, really holding her own right now. But Ruby Riot, she has much more to prove. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Liv Morgan just effed up. Uh, if there's a video game version of Botchamania, I'm sure that made it on. Oh, and Liv counters back with a big strike. Look at her power slam, and Ruby Riot slips out. I don't know if Liv Morgan has the strength to lift up oh, a person like Ruby Riot. But she is able to hit a Scorpion Death Drop, but Nick Ruby Riot rolls out and gets knocked right back off the apron. We may be headed towards a countout win here. Who knows? Ooh, Liv Morgan dropping a good knee. And they got to be weary of the count here. Ooh, Liv Morgan with a nice clothesline. Ruby Riot able to counter and sends Liv Morgan back inside the ring. Uh oh. And Riot. Has her spotted big splash to the back of Liv Morgan. Holy cow. And Riot rolls her up. Ooh, big spinning kick. And Ruby Riot. She's at the top rope again. And an elbow drop this time, right to the small of the back of Liv Morgan. And Riot, the Riot kick. And that's gotta be it. Ruby Riot. Now into the cover on Liv Morgan. Morgan's shoulders are down. Two and a three. And Liv Morgan not able to defeat Ruby Riot. And Ruby Riot with newfound confidence perhaps can uh, continue on her uh, journey fighting Nikki Cross. And hopefully we'll have an ending to that feud. And I think I might have an idea of what we're going to do with that rivalry. But uh, if you guys want to check out what we're going to do there, you're going to have to check out the episode next week. But... Ruby Riot, congrats. Good victory tonight, and what a way to kick us off on this episode of the NXT Universe Mode. And coming up next, a rivalry that has been taking place over the past couple of weeks. Mia Yim has had her run-in with the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions, the iconic duo of Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, and here tonight... Billy Kay is going to go one-on-one -on -one with Mia Yim after last week Peyton Royce interfered in a matchup with Lana, uh, leading to Lana beating Mia Yim. And so Mia Yim looks to pick up a win over uh, her seemingly new rivals here tonight. And you got to wonder if Peyton Royce is somewhere uh, hiding in the backstage area hoping to help her out this time around. But Mia Yim oh, oh, gets caught with a backbreaker. She is not going to waste any momentum here. Every strike is going to be calculated. And if there's one thing Billy Kay and Peyton Royce are uh, fanatics about, it's their uh, looks. And if Mia Yim gets the chance, I'm sure she's going to knock all the makeup right off of Billy Kay's face. 
as Kay calls Mia Yim to her feet. And she's kind of staggering, and Billy Kay, ooh, a little botched cross body, I believe she was going for. I don't know. I mean, whatever it is, it was effective. And it's driving Mia Yim into the corner, and Billy Kay sends her off the ropes. Oh, may have been looking for a back body drop, and Mia Yim just counters, continuing to give her more hard strikes. And Mia Yim counters. Oh, off the ropes. Oh, Tornado DDT. And Mia Yim's rolling now. Big forearm to the face. And now continuing with those straight shots. Look at this. Boom, bam, bop. Right into the face of Billy Kay. Oh, and Kay. Oh, Hurricane Rana out of nowhere. And that's the cockiness that might cause Billy Kay to lose this match here. Oh, oh and Mia Yim. Nice jawbreaker. And a forearm to the face. Maybe trying to drive her into the corner. Oh, I think she almost got her. Billy Kay, though, holding it off. She knows if she gets her to the corner, she may be looking for that cannonball in the corner. Or perhaps even a 450. Billy Kay, meanwhile, hanging up Mia Yim on the ropes and slamming her back down. And now looking for a straight cover right after that. And a referee not even for a two count. And meanwhile, Billy Kay working her way back up. Oh! Trying to hold her down. Oh, but a sharp elbow strike right to the head of Billy Kay. And a big snap suplex. And Mia Yim may be looking to close it out. Oh, but before that, she's going to continue the punishment. More stiff strikes and sends her into the corner. Oh, and a nice running forearm. And Billy Kay may be even knocked out. The referee may even have to stop this matchup. Uh-oh. And Billy Kay again answers back with a big shot. And Billy may be looking for a powerbomb. Oh, no, wait. Oh, man, face first. And Mia Yim clutching at her chest that made her knock the wind out of her. And now Kay looking for Emerald Fusion. Mia Yim counters with the reverse DDT. And she may be looking to put it away. Here we go. Eat defeat. Eat defeat right on Billy Kay. And the referee's right there. Will this be it? And indeed it will be. Mia Yim picks up the win over one half of the NXT Women's Tag Team Champions. Slight redemption here tonight as she defeats Billy Kay, but I'm sure she wants to get her hands also on Peyton Royce who cost her that matchup with Lana last week. But beating one half of the tag team champions is a good start to getting back to where she was before the number one contender to the NXT Women's Championship. And she has fallen since that loss, but defeating the tag team champions is just as good as beating the women's champion. Championships are what it's all about here in the women's division. Oh, and here comes Peyton Royce. Oh, no. Uh-oh. And Peyton Royce. Oh, Mia Yim tried to hit her. And Royce going after an already beaten down Mia Yim. You got to be kidding me. Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. And oh, Peyton Royce continuing the assault. I mean, what the hell does this got to do with anything? Seriously. Venus flytrap, this, this, that's ridiculous. Really. Well, as we continue on with action here tonight on Resurgence, we get to our main event, which will be Ember Moon versus Lana. And uh, Nia Jax has been barred from the arena tonight uh, due to the actions that she caused last week, putting Ember Moon through a table. And so Ember Moon will have a seemingly fair matchup against Lana, who, like I said, suffered a, or got a big win uh, over Mia Yim in her debut match. And she hopes to beat the undefeated Ember moon uh here tonight and i am actually very excited for this matchup this looks like it's going to be one hell of a match and just a quick reminder to you guys if you enjoy the way this video was brought to you uh with me doing commentary up in the little box in the corner don't forget to leave a like on the video and let me know that way if you guys do enjoy it more this way i can continue to keep doing it this way or if you'd rather just have the audio uh, of my voice do it 
um, you can tell me about it in the comment section. I always like the positive feedback or negative feedback. Like I said, if you don't like it, let me know. If you do like it, let me know. As we get underway with this matchup and Lana, we got thrown to the outside by Ember Moon. Oh, and now really not much is going about right now. Oh, except for uh, Ember Moon planning Lana with a DDT. We try to make advances out of the corner. Oh, and Lana catches a stiff leg. Tries for a leg of her own. Ember Moon spins her around and tries for, for a quick roll-up pin. And Ember Moon very quickly trying to get her. And what the hell? Why is Nia Jax's music playing? Uh-oh. She's supposed to be banned from the arena. What the hell? No. Oh, and Lana taking advantage from behind. Lana with a stiff kick from behind. Nia Jax's music slightly distracting her. Oh, and Lana maybe looking to put her away. Oh, right on the spine. But Lana, she's not taking advantage here. And Ember Moon flips her over. Fireman's carry. The slight distraction from Nia Jax's music. Not enough. Looking for the crucifix on Lana. Cover and a kick out. Man, Ember Moon. It's as soon as Nia Jax's music started playing, she shifted into a new gear. Oh, and a forearm right to the face of Lana. And she may be looking for that dive through the ropes. Boom, the dive. And Lana hit her head hard. Oh, man. And Ember Moon sending her back inside the ring. Lana, she's barely moving after getting hit with that dive. Could this be it? Into the cover on Lana and a win. Wow. Ember Moon wins off a dive. I mean, Randy Orton might not like them, but they are effective, apparently, in the case of Ember Moon. I mean, Lana's neck really got hit hard on that uh, dive. Oh, man. And there's that crucifix. And do we have another spot of that dive? I want to see that again. Seriously, because that looked like it really hurt. Yeah, she's lifting her up. She throws her back inside the ring. Lana was barely moving. There may be some sort of, like, neck contusion there or something. Might have hurt the quarm. If you guys don't get what that is, it's okay. But, I mean, uh, the facts don't lie. Ember Moon picks up a win here tonight, and Lana suffers her first loss here. She's 1-1. One, one. one match has been won, one match has been lost, and Ember Moon is still focused on the NXT Women's Champion, Nia Jax. Guys, I will see you on the next episode of the NXT Universe Mode. I have been Jacob from the WrestleDude channel. Thank you, and good night.